Oh, this is such a cool win. Hey girl, I put my GoPro, that's the chest mount, I strapped it around the dog. It's not hurting her anyway, it's nice and tight. I mean, it's as tight as a harness would normally be for like a dog, but um, there are definitely dog style harnesses for a GoPro mount, but those are a bit expensive and they ship through online and stuff like that. I don't really wanna do that. And I can't really do that at this point, but I just thought, what if I just strapped and tightened up the GoPro chest mount up around my dog and just kind of fit it kind of in the middle of her back and kind of fit it nice and tight around her chest down here underneath the dog so it's nice and fit so that when she moves around the camera's not shaking ludicrously and it shouldn't shake too ludicrously. Shake, shaking. But <laughs> I just refit my GoPro chest mount around my dog so now it's a dog GoPro harness so now we can go play catch and run around and take her on walks and I can put my GoPro on there and shoot some video shoot some time lapse and shoot some fun video of her running around and she was able to let me put on the harness without too much trouble without too much protest without too much pawing or attacking at me and so that's staying on there really well very very cool good girl give me a big fat like for that new innovation and that new way of thinking of a modern GoPro mount in a different sort of way. while my dog is being distracted by the birds back there. Uh, so that was my test run with the chest mount GoPro dog harness. Well, the chest mount kind of repurposed and redone as a dog harness. I'm sure the footage from the GoPro is gonna be very shaky and crazy shaky just because of how like wobbly and moving around her skin and the dog's body is overall. My major note right now is to come up with some way to like strap or hold these two straps together up on top of her body because they definitely kept slipping down as we were walking her. They kept slipping down her leg, which I'm sure the actual GoPro dog harness itself remedies and is definitely obviously built for this kind of a dog walking purpose. But I don't know, just kind of a cool idea that I've been actually wanting to do for quite a while to um, Daisy girl. To tighten the GoPro chest mount around the dog's body so it's tightened around it and it's not moving around too much. It doesn't slip around as much. Daisy, nope like it is doing now. She's really distracted by the birds and anything else going on. I have no idea how well it's gonna work out. It might turn out really badly. I might never use this again. I might just have to invest in a regular dog GoPro mount anyway, but uh, this was just kind of a on the fly kind of idea that I've had for a while, but never tested out or tried out before. But uh, we'll see how this GoPro footage turns out. Maybe I'll use it, maybe I won't. Maybe this proves to be a really good tip for the rest of you indie filmmakers and GoPro filmmakers out there. Can you repurpose a GoPro chest mount to be a dog GoPro uh, harness mount on the dog? We'll see. Uh, maybe the footage will turn out okay. Maybe my dog's mount and fluffy hide and everything is just too much for the mount to handle. So if you think this is a good idea, give this video a like. Let me know in the comments if you think I should keep trying this, if you might try this, or if this looks like kind of a cool idea to you or not. Just kind of a spur of moment idea that I've had for a while. So until later, until more things come out from me, keep watching, keep making things, and stay safe out there, and have fun in this nice weather. It's so sunny out here. I love it.